Okay, so since I can't seem to leave well enough alone, I am going to take this, my Surge, Boxcar Surge Harp, and I've decided I want to tune it to a specific note. Uh, and the specific note is the note that it's closest to right now. Um, now, I'm what I'm planning on doing is just with my bench grinder, just shaving a little bit of material off the end of the trigger to make it a little bit more narrow. And what that's going to do is take a little bit of the weight off the end and it should raise the tone up. So that's probably not the only way that, that, can, that this can be done. Um, there's got to be there's all kinds of ways of tuning a harp, I'm sure. Um, this one is one method to tune up. Um, some ways of tuning down, you, you add weight to it. So you can, some of them come with a little magnetic ball that fits inside the trigger and it adds extra weight to it and it brings the tone down. Or you can add a bit of solder or I've heard of beeswax. And um, as far as I know, that's probably the only way to uh, lower the tone. But um, anyway, I don't want to do that. What I want to do, this, this is how it sounds. And I have a, one sec here, a tuner app that I use and it's set to the chromatic scale. And what I do with this is I play the note. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Uh, two hand, yeah, okay. Okay, you're just gonna have to trust me. So um, <clears throat> right now, what it's sitting at is about 21 cents low of C, it sounds like. So why don't I raise it up to C? Okay, let's try this. I'm standing kind of far away from the camera, so hopefully I'm talking loud enough. But like I, like I said, I'm going to bring it up to C. Yeah, it's about 21 cents low of C and I'm just going to shave off a little bit of material to narrow the trigger until I get there. Now, I haven't done this before, this is, I'm just trying it. And uh, I'm guessing that I, uh, it's probably gonna go fairly quick, so I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit off, try it, see how much it works, and we'll see if I can get it right on the seat. Now, I always recommend you wear safety glasses. <laughs> I really didn't take very much off, just kind of shine the edges of it. So we'll see what that does. Okay, looks like that took about two. It's at, it's at minus 19 now. So I think I have a bit of a feel for this. I took too much off, and now I'm sitting above F. I do like the note though, whatever it is. I think I'm just going to maybe, 
don't like the shape of it. I don't like the way it looks now, but uh, we'll see. I will just shave just a touch more off on that. Not sure if you can see that. Clean it up a bit with a file, I think. Okay, so I've finished. Um, I don't know if you can really see too much. There's just a slight taper now, or a bit more of a taper, I mean, to the uh, where the trigger is. Uh, you know, I just didn't do the greatest job. I did clean it up with um, a file a little bit, but it's not, I don't know, it looks cool, I guess. But um, anyway, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, this is gonna be my first pluck. I just oiled it. You always want to uh, make sure that you keep your, your harps clean, dry, and oiled with uh, I use coconut oil, um, so anyway, here it is. Not bad. I think I do like that note. It is sitting, looks like now. About 11 cents short of C flat. Or eight, I don't know. It's kind of all over the place, but uh, anyway, as a uh, tuning measure, it was a complete fail. Uh, but in sound, I think I like it better. That would be a success.